Olivia, right at 620. It's Thursday, so let's eat. Tomorrow is St. Patrick's Day, and a perfect place to celebrate is as close as Seneca. That's where 7 News' is Christine Scarpelli is. She's live at Mullins Irish Pub and Grub. Good morning. Good morning. Love the name, right? Absolutely. Here in Seneca, if you haven't been, it is definitely time. And I always think, you know, an Irish pub, you know they're doing their Guinness, right? They've got all the beer and the cocktails, but do they have the food? On fleek, as the kids say, you guys do. It's fantastic. Let's take a look at what they have to offer. We'll show you a little of the menu, and we'll talk to the owner, Cindy and Sean, next. Before owners Cindy and Sean Mullen got here to Seneca, there really wasn't a lot of green around. I'm talking no Irish pub from here all the way to Anderson. So they decided to bring some of their Irish heritage and their Irish beer here to Seneca. We're at Mullen's Irish Pub and Grub. In 2008, we decided we wanted to venture out and get into the pub business. And with his Irish roots, we just thought it would be a great thing to do. The luck of the Irish was with them. Cynthia and Sean Mullen met when Sean was trying out for professional baseball in Florida. He's from New England. His family is Irish, and they decided when her family was moving back to Seneca from Florida, they'd follow with these delectable dishes. We have shepherd's pie, fish and chips, Reuben's, corned beef on rye. Recipes are from Sean's mom and grandmother, and check out the portion on this puppy. We're going to start with the shepherd's pie. We have our marinated beef tip, peas and carrots. Transfer this into our dish. Don't miss their gravy's secret ingredient. A touch of the good stuff. What's in there? A little bit of Guinness added in there. And homemade mashed potatoes. Idaho potatoes. They're peeled, diced, we boil. Then they're mixed and we add butter, milk, sour cream, seasoning, salt and pepper. They gotta be just right so they spread good. Cheddar cheese is Mullen's favorite to add a little zing, he says, and into the oven. Enough to share for sure. Fish and chips is next. Beer battered to order. All-purpose flour, Smittix beer. What is that? This is Ireland's oldest ale. It's not too stout and uh, it's delicious. Mullen uses flounder fillets. Dry batter, then the wet. Then we're gonna lower the fish in carefully so it doesn't stick to the basket. Pile them on fresh cut french fries and Cynthia's tartar sauce and she'll even make you a festive shot to wash it down. We're gonna make a delicious cloud over Ireland. He is using De Kuiper melon and that's your Ireland. And this is the cloud and this is Bailey's Irish cream. So if you need a place to go for St. Patty's Day, maybe St. Patty's weekend, we get you covered here in Seneca at Mullins Irish Pub and Grub, we say, get, get your, your Irish on. on. Ooh, look at him go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love it. I listened for the glass clink. These guys are such great sports, by the way, too. Okay, Sean and Cindy, thank you so much. Uh, that was the last of the melon, right? That you re replenished, we're good to go. They've got full shots, whiskey, everything on tap for tomorrow. That's really exciting. Um, you've got a limited menu, a special menu, I should say, for St. Pat's. A lot of great things on it, including what's in front of us, Sean. That's the uh, slow cooked corned beef and cabbage with red oh. potatoes and baby carrots. Love it. And then next to it? We have the bangers and mash, uh, bratwurst, caramelized onions, mashed potatoes, and gravy. Very good. Expect a vegetable with that too, guys, because none of your portions are small. You do not want people to leave hungry. I love that. You guys were hungry yesterday getting prepared for a big weekend. We right. were. <laughs> Including outside, right? It's kind of especially opening the patio sort of for spring a little bit, right? Yep. Yeah, we have uh, acoustic shows every Wednesday from 8 to 11. Awesome. All throughout the summer. They'll be out there. Okay, fantastic. There's a lot out there. There's a little fire pit as well. Um, and the other thing I have to ask about is the bagpipe. The yep. bagpipe guy? Yeah, RJ Grady. He'll be here from 6 to 8 o'clock on St. Patrick's Day tomorrow. That? Oh my gosh. Okay, so Friday, St. Patrick's Day, the guy playing the bagpipes, RJ Grady, will be here. Mm -hmm. It doesn't get more Irish than that. A lot of fun, right? That's a great time there. I love it. I still love the brats from last half hour or last hour or two. Those things, oh, I could go all day on those, even at 624 in the morning. As you take a live look at downtown Anderson, you're watching 7 News.